All right, you know how this game works by now, right? I find four random people on the internet, uh, I tell them to be funny, and then you vote on who's really funny and who's not as funny. But the question is, who did I choose this time? Happy Thursday, everybody. It's Pete Tony, your friendly Catholic vlogger. I'm super excited for this round of the Game of Favorites because I found this great internet connection, which is like 10 times faster without exaggerating than, than any connection I've had before. Also, there's different like graphical things that I'm going to improve with the Game of Favorites, but, but that's not why you're watching this video, right? We want to talk about who, who did I invite to be on the game show this time round? The answer is a really great group of people, the first of which is Joseph. I have a lot in common with Joseph. He and I both were starting to be priests with the Legionaries of Christ, and obviously we both discerned out, but uh, as far as like where our formation comes from and, and values that are that are normal for us, like with how we think, uh, we just have that common ground to build on. Another thing that we have in common is that Joseph and I are both very smart. <laughs> no, Joseph is much, much smarter than I am. He's a, a grad student studying uh, astronomy. He also has a degree in philosophy and a passion to continue studying philosophy. Uh, I mean, the guy uh, organizes a group that meets, I think, once a month to talk about the latest episode from Pints with Aquinas. So in short, Joseph is a guy that beautifully blends together faith and reason. Very, very smart guy. Uh, <laughs> We'll see how he does at the Game of Favorites, because the Game of Favorites isn't necessarily about being smart, it's about being clever. That might overlap, we'll find out. The second person competing to win the Game of Favorites this Saturday is John. John is a focus missionary, and I, I love focus missionaries. They do so much good work. I only met John back in August or so, so I don't know him terribly well. Uh, <laughs> but he's one of those guys that's a lot of fun to pick on, and that might be why I invited him on to the show. <laughs> so I <laughs> Wait, no, hold on, hold on. He's also funny, you know, like in his own right. He really is. I should talk him up right now. He's a very tall man, I look up to him. Uh, and he's he's got this great heart where he just instinctively cares about people in his life. He's very easygoing. You can always talk to him about anything that's on your mind. Uh, and whatever's on his mind, he's he feels very free to talk about. He also doesn't know yet exactly how the game of favorites works. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much I should explain to him or if we should just surprise him on the show. We'll find out. The third person coming to the Game of Favorites is Arena. Right, it's a funny backstory. Uh, originally, I had two other people slotted in to play this this round, um, but both of those people fell through. One of those people can't make it anymore because, well, it was a miscommunication issue. Uh, just times and dates and things, and I get to learn how to be a better communicator in the future, so, so this is a positive thing. And then the other person just got double booked, um, which is unfortunate. But sometimes that happens in life. We'll manage. But anyways, that meant that in the last couple of days I've had to scour the internet and try to find somebody to fill in. And, you know, like someone that would make a good contestant on the Game of Favorites. And the, I, the first person that I found is Arena. She comes highly recommended by one of the people that, that had to drop out. Um, and. I just met her, you know, like two days ago. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I don't know if I have that much to tell you about her. She's from Texas. John is also from Texas, come to think of it. So so I don't know. Does that mean that they're going to build up some camaraderie or is there going to be some rivalry? She's an ENFP, according to Myers-Briggs, uh, which means what it means. She's cheery, she's bright, she's lighthearted, she's fun to talk to. I talk to her so I can I can tell you that she is indeed fun to talk to and I'm excited to have her on and get to know her better. And the fourth, the fourth final person that competing this weekend is, oh shoot, is it, uh, I, I keep confusing her name, Natalie. Uh, it's not Natalie, it's Nicole. Nicole is gonna set a record for being the youngest contestant we have had to date on the Game of Favorites. Uh, don't worry, she's not a minor. You don't need to go through like safe environment training in order to watch the live stream. You're safe, I got you covered. I found Nicole by going to the list of my followers on Twitter and you know, like exploring that list. And one of the profiles that I clicked on was Nicole's. Uh, and I loved her timeline. I hadn't seen it before. Uh, she's, it's just full of like self-deprecating humor uh, and dry humor and uh, other humors too, I'm sure. I'm drawing a blank right now. Also, when I invited Nicole, uh, she got excited because she likes watching game shows in her free time. Um, so she actually knows what <laughs> she actually knows what a game show is supposed to look like. I don't watch game shows, um, so I don't know who's actually going to be in charge this weekend. It might be our our youngest all-time contestant uh, who actually knows what a game show should look like. And those are our four contestants. So the question is, who do you want to win? Who do you want? Click on the link down below in the description box or in the upside down exclamation point up here uh, that that'll bring you to the game of favorites itself and you can set a bookmark, set a reminder, um, 
So we'll see you on Saturday, where you get to vote who is your favorite. All right, so here's the deal, friends. Uh, one of the contestants actually has balloons in here. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. You can probably guess who it is. And <laughs> check it out, check it out. Uh, Joseph, thanks so much for, for being a patron, uh, for supporting me on my channel. Uh, and best of luck on the game of favorites. You're gonna do great. Thanks so much everyone for watching. If you wanna see more, there are more videos. Uh, you know, just follow, click on the video place. Also, if you wanna support me on Patreon, uh, there's a link there. If you appreciate my videos enough that you would give me a dollar a month, then I'll give you rewards. Like for example, next week, there's gonna be a live stream just for my patrons. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know down in the comments if, if you're gonna make it to the game of favorites. God bless and ciao.